Hi, welcome back to the Rad System Studio List Page Configuration Series, I'm Tuzik. In this episode, we will go through the list page properties, page design especially. Let's open our project to start. If you don't know how to create a project with Rad System Studio, we have made a tutorial on how to create the first project with Rad System Studio, the link will be in the description below. We are using Project 1 created by Prad Classic. Let open it and then click on any table. Click on the list page. Below here, we have list page properties. List page properties are grouped into seven categories, which includes page design, default query configuration, inline edit, page components, page modal, table design. Let's start with page design. It has four properties. Starting with Ajax page. We can enable the Ajax page by clicking on the Ajax page select field. Now click on true. That's it. When the Ajax page is set to true, it allows the selected list page to handle post and fetch events without refreshing or reloading the list page. Next is the page title. Now click on the page title field and rename it to any title of your choice. Next is the display type. Click on the display type field. There are two types of display. These are tabular list and grid type. By default, the display type is set to tabular list, but let's change it to grid type by selecting grid from list options. Notice when we choose grid, more properties are shown with these properties. We can style individual cards. All right. Now we've selected grid type. Let's see how it's going to look like. Click on publish and then click on preview in browser. To see the effects, navigate to the page we configured. That's awesome. Next is an empty record message. Empty record message is the information displayed when no record is found on a page. For example, when we search for a record like sugar and it's not found in our database, a message has been displayed. That's an empty record message. This record also shows when our table has no data in it. Now we have learned how to use the page design of list page properties. In our next tutorial, we will continue on list page properties, default query configuration. Thanks for your time. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tutorials like this.